hi and welcome back to my channel my precious little babies so this week we're going to be making the greenhouse of my dreams but in miniature version so without further ado let's get right into the video so this <laughs> there's nothing freaking here so right here <laughs> is nothing until i boop put something there so this is going to be our reference picture. I'm obviously not going to make it super like that because it is very complicated. We're going to simplify it down. If you guys remember, we made this little house that's on my shelf over here and the windows for it. I have two of them left. These are obviously going to be way too small for what we're trying to make, but I think the length is pretty good this was our original template for these windows and so i'm gonna try to make one window just to see just to see if it's going to work or not so we are going to be working with shrinky dink plastic so let's just make our template and see if it's going to work and also let's draw our little sketch just so we have something to follow I don't think I thought this through very well. If you know anything about shrinky dinks, they shrink down, but there's not a precise measurement, at least not that I've been able to tell. So basically what I'm getting at is the roof piece is very concerning for me, but I think with enough math and enough brain power, we are going to be able to make this work. So for right now, I'm just gonna make a template rough template of what the shrinky dink will look like so let's just get that part of the way and then hopefully after that we'll be able to figure out the rest of this thing this to this so this one is a little warped but i do believe that it's because i used parchment paper but this is exciting it worked Whew. so now i just have to do the math of how many i need to cut how many i need to make and bake and it's a new dawn it's a new day good morning so I've been working pretty hard this morning on making more pieces to go into the oven so I made these are all like the wall pieces that we're going to need oh that's so pretty so I was gonna draw on this and put the black outlines everywhere but I think what I decided to do is use popsicle sticks in between all the windows paint these black and then just attach the windows you'll see once we start doing it this is all the roof pieces and here is the triangle pieces and like a little cat little, little, little cat with giant ears I am really, really nervous about putting these in the oven because these are pretty big compared to... Let's go bake this stuff. I'm done melting all the plastic. I burned myself. See that? And then I had <laughs> a lot of issues because basically this plastic like goes in on itself. 
and I had to like pry it apart so I ended up like burning myself a bunch of times. Oh my god, look how many there are. There's another problem that I was not expecting. I guess I had cut these not very well or something because there's clearly this. So I'm gonna try to sand these down to make them as even as possible. <sighs> So, we got a lot of stuff done. How do I show this to you? I could just shut the fuck up. Okay. So we have all our sidings and things like that. What we're going to do basically is take our pieces, put these in between, and do, and do all that. You understand. I am going to be using some super glue because I don't know what else to use in this situation. So let's start gluing things together, shall we? Good morning and good morning. So now we're just going to put everything together and start assembling our little greenhouse. I'm so excited. Okay, okay, let's just do it. We got all our pieces all nice and shiny to, you know, represent the windows. And because I used super glue, the windows got really foggy. It is time to put everything together and this is the part where the heavens above get to decide if all my measurements were correct. Oh, I'm so nervous. I really hope this works. <laughs> of the video. The finished product looks like this. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's going to be easier to make plants in this way. You know, my favorite parts are is that the door opens and closes. Close enough. So yeah, the door opens, you can see like 
all through it. It's so freaking cool. Like, it's really cool. I love this thing. I did such a good job. Like, like always, there's mistakes, but who cares at this point? Because I make mistakes all the time, which... <sighs> I make so many mistakes. Anyways, so I was going to make plants for a little greenhouse, but... But I thought that I will just save that for next week so I'm able to really take my time on it and really focus on the little plants and make the details all really great. I have some ideas of how to like make this so you can like open it up and like look inside because you know me, I really like when there's functionality to these things because I just think it makes it way more fun and I feel like if I ever have kids one day, they're gonna really enjoy like opening all the little doors and the, like looking at all the things inside. Like I just think it's so freaking cute. Um, so I will save that for next week's video so that we can really take the time on it. I've already started planning things, so don't you worry. Anyways, so what do you guys think? Do you like it? It is time for that time to say bye bye to my precious babies i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i will see you next week and until then have a wonderful day because you deserve it probably i always have to say that because there's at least one person that does not freaking deserve it so you have the worst week of your life i'm kidding god why am i so wild today <laughs> Bye. It's time we part.